as we wrap up Green Week, we're going to green your beauty routine. You can choose from all kinds of products on the market, or you can actually make some right in your own home. Kelly McGill is the publisher and editor of Positively Green, a magazine dedicated to a green way of life. Kelly, good morning. Hello. And there's so much on the market now for your beauty routine, so you really can do a lot and not spend a lot of money. A lot of places like Whole Foods, I know, sell. So they have like aisles dedicated to this. Yes. And you say the first things to look for when it comes to beauty products is to stay away from things that advertise fragrance or parabens. Exactly. Why? Well, fragrances, companies don't have to disclose what's in them, and typically they contain mm -hmm. phthalates. Phthalates are bad because they're hormone disruptors, so they're sending mixed signals to your body. Very bad. Yeah. Parabens are bad. They're used as a preservative in lots of products, and they mimic estrogen when they're in your body. And there's been a, a, a cancer related to increased levels of estrogen, so you just don't want to have any more than you need to. All right, so you say as a big believer, this best place to start is by trying green products that actually stay on your skin. So what are we talking about? Yes. Well, if you have soap or shampoo conditioner, you put that on, you wash it right back off. Mm -hmm. But with sunscreen and moisturizers and makeup, you put that on, you leave it on, it soaks in. So and it stays on. I, yeah, right. so I think it's really important to make sure you get good products And we've got there. some examples here, some great lotions and some products right here too. Um, so even though you do wash the soap off your body, you do have some recommendations too. We do. Yeah. Here we have a moisturizer. This is Dr. Hauschka. It's a 100% natural product. Mm -hmm. Comes in glass packaging, so it's completely recyclable. If you have a little bit smaller budget, this Everyday Shea you can get at Whole Foods, and it's another very good product. Okay. Um, sunscreen's really important. You want a physical sunblock instead of a chemical sunblock, so zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Mm -hmm. This Badger is an incredible product. It's just got zinc oxide in it. Price point is a little bit smaller. Is this uh, Aubrey? Organics, right? You can get that whole at Whole Foods as and well. And these are all great SPF too, I imagine. Wonderful, right? yeah. yeah. Okay. They come in 15 and 20 and 30. Okay, and then over here you've got some deodorants, We've which are deodorants. always good to go organic because that's staying on all day. It is. And the Bubble and Bee, you can get online. It's 100% organic. It's a great deodorant. The Nature Skate and the Toms of Maine, you can find at quite a few more places, mm -hmm. especially the Toms of Maine. And it's uh, the container is 100% recycle, recyclable, and mm -hmm. it's made of recycled content. Okay, and then over here the soaps and an easy way for you at home to shop for really good organic soaps as mm -hmm. you say there's actually a label on it that makes it easy yes. to identify. Whole Foods has a label now that makes it really easy. You don't even need to read the ingredients. See, if it right has this label, uh -huh. then it's the best of the best. You know that you're not getting anything bad. So you don't even product. have to read the back of the, nope. th the label. Okay, sure then don't. over here let's talk about beauty products and makeup, another place that you suggest trying to go green. And mm -hmm. as I mentioned there's a lot out there right now. So yeah. what should you shop for when you're looking for everything from foundation to your eyeliner. Okay, this foundation is great. It's by an Australian company called Inve. It's 100% certified organic, and I think it's more important when you're doing your foundation, it's going all over your skin to get something really good. And it's going to really soak into your skin, too, mm -hmm. as well. And then uh, Neutrogena has a really great line out, too, their, their mineral line. Yes, they have a mineral shears line. We chose their blush. It comes with this really handy mm -hmm. brush, so you can apply it very easily. I know, to travel with this is great. I know I have my blush like that. Okay, mm -hmm. and then over here, we've got Physicians, the Physicians formula, 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 which is fantastic. Organic wear. This is a great line. You can get it at pharmacies. And we've got their uh, eyeliner and we've got their mascara. It's hard to get a really good mascara. Mm -hmm. And they'll use beeswax for plumpers and fillers instead of uh, synthetic products. And Almay has their pure blends as well mm -hmm. and Inve again. And that's a product that you mentioned. You can get that online too, yes, right? Yes, you can. Okay. And then over here we've got a great recipe to make your own, um, I guess, a bathing product, right? This is yes. something that you could, and it's a little treat for yourself. Now tell us the ingredients first. Okay. It's a moisture rising bath bomb and this has got baking soda cornstarch, Epsom salt, and citric acid. Okay. The only thing you need to get online is citric acid. Citric you can acid, get everything else in the grocery. That. Okay. And you can add some oils to it, whatever oils you want. I've added hemp seed oil, uh, sunflower oil, I've used coconut oil, and a little wow. bit of water, and some fragrance. Some so again, some oils. of these you can find online as well, right? Easily. Some hemp seed oil. I don't, I don't know where you'd find that. Okay. You just Google it. You'll okay. find it. And what you do is you add just it. mix it in. And see how it Oh, it just foams right up and fizzes. How right. neat. And so you like want chemical reaction going on here. Exactly, <laughs> and that's what will happen in your bathtub as well. So Just you mix it and foams. Mm -hmm. And now what's in here? What's in that's the coconut oil before you um, before you melt it. Okay. You want to melt the coconut oil. So once you've got this put together, mm -hmm. you just put it right into these tins. Mm -hmm. You just take a spoon and you just kind of let it 
and put it into your tin. Fill it right up like a muffin, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you it really fill it up like a muffin. Press it in hard like that. And it will harden overnight. So you just leave it standing alone and it hardens. And take a look mm -hmm. at what it looks like when you're done. Mm -hmm. This is what Great. they look like. It actually looks so yummy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It smells very good, too, by the way. This smells excellent. And, and then you you've buy made... these in a retail store, they're 6 or $7, mm -hmm. but if you make them, they're about 70 cents. 70 cents. And then you've got some other great things that you've made as well, a chapstick and some soap. Mm -hmm. All of this, by the way, on our website, todayshow.com. You can find out how to make this. Kelly McGill, thank you so much. Thank some you. great ideas. Okay. Coming up next, what makes this...